Good morning, friends, and welcome to another day of daily devotions from Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, where we are the heart of the lake shore. I'm Pastor Matt Sauer, and today we are focusing on the fruit of the Spirit, peace. Peace is something that we talk a lot about in the church. Jesus talks a lot about peace. The overall scripture talks a lot about peace. Peace, when we talk about it more often in the world, it's often about the absence of violence. Right now on everyone's radar is peace in the Middle East between Palestine and Israel. And we talk about peace accords and peace treaties. So often we can make the mistake of thinking that peace means the absence of violence. Now, that certainly is the beginning place of peace, for sure. But we can't let peace end there. In other ways, when we talk about peace, what we're really saying to people is, if everybody just acted like me and thought like me and did things the way that I want them to do things, there would be peace in the world. Well, that's not really peace either. That's some version of bullying where you're making other people do what you want them to do so that you can feel good. No, I think the fruit of peace is much deeper than that. It's an acceptance that we are a flawed, broken creature of God, that by God's love, and God's presence in our lives, that we have been healed and restored and set up to do good work and to make a difference in the world. We're at peace with the fact that we're not perfect, but that God loves us anyway. We're at peace with how we are in the world. So maybe I'm not the most physically fit person. Maybe I'm not the most handsome person. Maybe I'm not the richest person, the fastest person, the smartest person, the best preacher, the best pastor. But I'm at peace with how God is choosing to use me in the world. And some days I'm there and some days I'm not. And I imagine it can be the same with you. But bearing the spirit of peace means that when we encounter the world, particularly individuals in the world, that instead of reflecting our pain outward, instead of responding to them out of our need to be liked or to be respected, we simply are present with them, listening to them, letting their problem, their joy, their presence fill us at that moment. Peace, not needing to be the best, not needing to be in charge, not needing to be recognized, but at peace that God is working in you and that you are indeed an incredible, wonderfully made, loved creation of God. And if we can find this peace, then the other types of peace, the absence of violence, all of those things will begin to fall into place. Let's pray for our peace and that all others can find that peace that passes all understanding. Holy, holy, holy Lord, come and visit with us your peaceful, easy feeling. Help us to be comfortable with who you have created us to be. Not complacent, but at peace that even in our imperfection, your love perfects us. Help us to encounter the world today in a way that lets the other be fully present without us needing to diminish them 
by our own imperfections and insecurities. We pray for peace for all the world, peace in all the hearts, your peace. Amen. You are loved. You are worthy. You were created to be a blessing. So go and be a blessing today in any way that you can. Have an awesome day.